Hey family, how are you doing on this beautiful day that the Lord has made? It is Talan's High Church of God's Heart and Mission. Welcome to today's quick word. I just have a word of encouragement um, from the Lord today, so it won't be lengthy. It won't be a long thing. I'm just going to be literally, I'm hoping to be sharing the word in under five minutes, which will be a miracle <laughs> all by itself. But basically the Lord, I brought in my spirit to share with my brothers and sisters that especially if you've been through what I'm about to mention now, you know, um, if you've had people take advantage of you, um, you know, taking your kindness for weakness and literally just ill-treating you because they felt that they could ride the wave, you know, especially if you are generous in your spirit and, and you're doing things because God has told you to do it, you know, and you're obedient to God. Some people can mistake that your kind-heartedness and your goodness, which is influenced and propelled by the Holy Spirit as weakness, which is a very dangerous place to be because God has called us to be good and to do good. So sometimes people don't realize that it, <laughs> it's the Spirit of God in you, having you do good, you know, because outside of God, we're not good. <laughs> we, we, are, we are, you know, sinners, if you know what I'm saying. So, and then our hearts are evil, our hearts are deceptive. That's why we have to rely on the Holy Spirit and have the Holy Spirit of God guide us in everything that we do. So today's word is just to encourage you that God has been seeing how people have been taking advantage of you and he's addressing that in real time. And this word comes from Leviticus um, chapter 25 verse 17 where the God of glory tells you and me and everybody else and he says, do not take advantage of each other. But fear your God. I am the Lord your God. Then he goes on to say in verse 18, follow my decrees and be careful to obey my laws. All right. So basically that's the word for today. Do not take advantage of each other, but fear your God. I am the Lord your God. Follow my decrees and be careful to obey my laws. God doesn't take lightly <laughs> to us not obeying his laws and commands because he sees that as a an act of disobedience, right? That's why he tells us, be sure to follow, which is in action, in deed, and in speech, my decrees, precepts, statutes, and commands. Be careful to obey the laws of the Lord because they are for my benefit and yours. So if you've had people take advantage of you, I've experienced that and it. Ooh, wee. Let me take a moment. <laughs> it had me almost revert back to my heathen days, okay? <laughs> Because I'd be like, do you not see that I see, right? You know that moment where you're like, does this person really think that I don't see what they are doing, that they are really, really, really trying to take advantage of me or they have taken advantage of me? And then the flesh is like, go get them. You know what I mean? And the Lord is like, uh -uh. stay put, hold your horses now, keep a low profile, relax, I got this. And it can be just so difficult sometimes. But thank God for God's Holy Spirit because we can rely on him to help us not to react from a fleshly perspective, but to give room for the Lord to handle the matter, you know, and he'll give us peace about it. So you might be thinking, well, you know, Tabang, I feel like it's some things have to be addressed. Fair enough. Sometimes, you know, you might feel, I guess, um, an urgency in your spirit to be like, I got to tell this person that I'm not happy with this, that and whatever. But I would always say, take it to the Lord, you know, um, take it to the Lord. And see if he says it's okay for you to make a mention of it to the person. To say that, hey, I feel like in this situation or under the circumstances, you actually took advantage of me. You took advantage of, you know, um, the situation that was at hand. And I'm not happy about it. But first take it to the Lord and have him counsel you whether or not he wants you to do that. All right. So the main question, I guess, is how then do you respond, you know, after you realize and the Holy Spirit has opened your eyes to, <laughs> to see that you've been taken advantage of, you know. A couple of verse, verses that I'd like to share with you that have helped me a lot in maintaining my peace and the joy of my salvation and to stop jumping out like a little demon on these people, you know. <laughs> it's found in the book of Romans. First of one of them is found in the book of Romans 12, 17 says, Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of the of, of everyone. And then another verse that speaks about do not return evil for evil, but overcome evil with good. So you just giving it to the Lord and looking the other way, turning the other cheek, it can be difficult. 
Okay, fam, come on. This is this is it's a struggle. It's a struggle. I'll be first to admit that sometimes it is a struggle in my life to be turning the other cheek. I'm like, I don't know why I have to turn the other cheek, Lord, when I can just handle up. You know, and God is like, no, 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 we're not doing that. But it can take everything out of you to just, you know, exercise self-control. And thank God again for the Holy Spirit because He's able, He's able to help us in that. And the first Peter 3 9 says, Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult, but on the contrary, replay, re, replay, sorry, repay with a blessing. It's a Monday fam. How's <laughs> waking up? Repay with a blessing. So he takes this step further. Like, don't even, do not just only turn the other way and turn the other cheek and forgive and all sorts, but also, you know, uh, repay with a blessing. Repay evil with a blessing. Repay insult with a blessing. Um, and goodness of God, and of course, and Proverbs twenty twenty two says, "Don't take things into your own hands." So God is saying, "Do not take the matter into your own hands. Do not say I will repay evil. Instead, wait for the Lord, and He will deliver you. Wait for the Lord, and He will deliver you." That's why I said earlier on, like if you feel that you need to address the situation with the person, make sure that is the Holy Spirit instructing you to. Don't just jump and be like, "I'm gonna take this matter. I'm gonna handle it." Because the word of God says we should not take things into our own hands, but rather um, to wait upon the Lord for him to deliver us and to handle the situation. And Romans 12, 19 also says, do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. So you take the matter to the Lord. I took Ooh, a, couple, a couple of times fam, I've had to take to the matter to the Lord and I felt like I needed to be God's assistant in how we're going to handle this person and handle it. <laughs> like, God, I've got an idea, you know. <laughs> Why don't you throw them in the fiery furnace? I'm, I'm being honest, you know, because sometimes, man, it can just get you really, really agitated and very angry, you know, like a righteous anger. Like, I've seen the evil that you've just done. I can see what you are doing. Um, and it just rubs you off the wrong way, right? Um, so I would just like to advise if you're experiencing that, or if it does happen in the future, just remind yourself of what the word of God says, which is for you to make room for God's wrath, for it is written, God will avenge you. You know, God will deliver you. Do not fall into the trap of committing a sin while you are in anger. Something I'm struggling with is also anger. Girl had a temper this, it is small. I was very temperamental, very, very aggressive, you know, because obviously being in business as a woman, I've had, man, all sorts of situations I always had to handle that, you know, but um, I guess me and Moses have got that in common, anger issues, you know, I had a lot of anger issues and every time I'll be like, I got to retaliate, I have to retaliate because I was operating in the flesh, but the Lord helped me with that and it took a while, but, you know, the Lord is like, we're not going to do that, that's not of me, be slow to anger, as I am slow to anger, right, and he says, uh, do not, uh, do not sin, you know, while you are angry, make sure not to sin. And anger can lead you to sin at the end of the day. That's why God says that. Make sure you address things, you know, as and when they happen, but from a place of love. And most of the time, it means for you to take it to the Lord, take it to the counselor, take it to your advocate, you know, your representative who is the Holy Spirit. And be like, this is my case, Lord. Can we just talk about this? This is what I'm experiencing. This is what I'm feeling. I need you to jump in and save me from myself. <laughs> In how I'm gonna handle the situation, you know, I'm just being fair and honest here, and I'm being just downright open and honest, you know, because we we have those kind of situations from time to time, right? We understand this journey with the Lord is not a walk in the park. You are going to go through trials and tribulations and all sorts of tests, you know. And also in this word, the Lord was highlighting that sometimes He does allow for those situations to happen. He will allow for somebody to take advantage of you because He's also testing them to see that are they gonna come off of that. Or if they are presented with a situation, are they going to really go ahead, you know, and take advantage of you or take advantage of the situation? And at the same time, God will be testing you to see how you're going to respond. Are you going to make room for the Lord and say, God, I'm handing it over to you. I see it. Thank you for revealing it to me. I see it for what it is, but then I'm not going to step in and be you. I am going to literally just hand over the matter to you and leave it alone because of your word that says we are not to return evil for evil, but to return to, to, to overcome evil with good and and rather to to not do evil or, or, or to insult others, but also to bless. And I, I'm going to do my best <laughs> to make sure that I do that. But we can do it because the Holy Spirit is there to help us do so. So with that, fam, I'd like to love and leave you. I trust that you'll be richly blessed. And I wish you a beautiful and productive, blessed, blessed, utterly 
amazing week ahead in Christ Jesus. As and when the Holy Spirit has me back here, you can guarantee I will be back. Remain blessed and thank you so much for being a part of God's Heart and Mission community. Yeah, something says slow connection on my phone and I'm struggling to actually, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Love you fam, take care.